Have you ever been a victim of what I ordered versus what I get? Why not? No, God forbid. Let me simplify this. Have you ever tried to open FL Studio and while opening FL Studio, this is the next greeting you get? Have you found yourself in this kind of situation? Yes, but, yes, but. If you are a victim of this particular experience, bros, come closer. We have a meeting. If this has happened to you, it's very simple. So I'm going to put you through things you need to do to make sure that you get out of this situation. All right? Thank you very much, sir. Follow me through. So guys, the first thing you need to do is that once you get to your PC, you need to navigate to your installed apps or applications. Okay? So you go to your start menu. Okay, you go to settings. That is if you are using Windows 11. Okay, and above, go to apps. All right, then you go to installed apps. Okay, when you click on installed apps, the applications you have installed, they will open up. So the next thing you need to do, you need to navigate to FL Studio. This is very important. That's why you need to always have the FL Studio set up with you. Okay. You are going to remove the FL Studio program. Now, it's not going to affect your settings or anything. Okay. You are going to uninstall FL Studio programs. I'm showing you this because this is what I went through to get mine fixed and it's got fixed and it is working effectively. All right. So uninstall FL Studio, don't stop there. Go ahead, uninstall your FL Studio issue. So things related to FL Studio, ensure you uninstall them, okay? Uninstall FL Studio, then uninstall FL Studio issue as well. Then don't stop there. You are also going to uninstall, I don't know whichever interface you use. Mine, I am using Focusrite, okay? Uninstall your audio interface drivers. In my own case, I have the Focusrite audio drivers and I also have Focusrite control. Uninstall them. Okay. What, whatever interface you use, yours might be Behringer, yours might be um, M Audio, whatever it may be. Ensure you uninstall the drivers, uninstall it, and uninstall the control as well. Okay. Once you are done uninstalling that, now, this is for those who are using Windows 11. If you are using Windows 10 below and below, how can you navigate to these installed applications? Um, one of the ways I know is that you go to this PC or my computer. Okay. Then above it, you will see view all application or installed applications or so somewhere around this region. You click on it. It will take you to this same panel where you are going to see the applications you have installed. Follow the same process I showed I showed you earlier. Uninstall those applications. FS Studio, FS Studio SEO. Don't uninstall this SEO driver here. Don't uninstall this SEO for all here, no. Just uninstall FS Studio SEO, FS Studio itself, then your audio interface drivers. Uninstall them, everything. Once you are done with that, shut down your system or restart your PC. Once your PC restarts, the first thing you need to do is to install your audio interface drivers. In my own case, I use Focusrite. So you will need to go and install the latest driver. So that's why you need to go online, go to your browser, uh, whichever browser you use. In my own case, I use Chrome. You go to Chrome. Okay. Uh, you type in the driver you use. You can see I, I had to troubleshoot. I first of all troubleshoot everything and did all these things. It was not working. So it was a process I'm showing you now that I went through that worked for me. Okay. So this is what you do. Okay. You simply go to, uh, just type, uh, Scarlet because mine is Scarlet eight I six. Uh, yeah. So eight I six, sorry, eight I six driver. Okay. So just go to the website of your audio interface manufacturer okay so in my own case i went to the focus right okay now i went here and i download the drive i downloaded the driver so download the driver of your audio interface okay if you're using windows 10 plus of course for those of you who are using focus right you can see but if you're using windows 7 and 8 this is what you download if you're using windows 10 and above this is what you download all right 
download this once you are done downloading it install it okay install it once it is done installing of course you will see it here all right of course you can see this is my setting this is my control so this is in my own case this is mine here all right you can see that it is picking the audio i am recording right now all right so ensure that you download it or install it okay once you are done installing it you should get the control uh panel of yours like mine here all right so you know that that is already installed okay then the next thing you should do is to go and install your fl studio once you install your fl studio automatically it is going to install the seo driver too as well the fl studio seo driver all right that is going to be installed too as well once that is done installing don't open your fl studio do not open your fl studio restart your computer again once your pc reboots everything will be refreshed once it is refreshed you can now open your fl studio of course when you open your fl studio you are not going to have such issues anymore to automatically open up like this okay and boom you have your fl studio here so even when you try to switch the drivers even when you try to switch the drivers okay you can see fl studio SEO is there SEO is there and all that drivers i have installed so you can see fl studio driver can you see no error again all right if you switch to your own usb uh, audio interface driver same thing no error so everything is well settled everything is well arranged okay so that is the thing so this is how to get this issue solved okay guys so i believe if you have followed these steps i just showed you now these simple steps i just showed you definitely you will not have such error message again you will not you are not going to have such issues again all right so guys what are you waiting for subscribe to my channel all right uh, follow me on all the social media handle on facebook on tiktok on instagram okay because i'm bringing more tutorials now i've actually completed the whole session of um, beat making introduction to fl studio i've done all those trainings they are on my page here and my channel as well okay so just go through my page you are going to see these things definitely you will see what will be beneficial to you all right so subscribe to my channel and follow me all right so guys god bless you